Hello, my name is Manuel Blechschmidt. I'm the CEO of Incentigy and today I want to show you an implementation of a live synchronizing OpenUI 5 data model. For this, as a demo, I prepared a to-do list. So I have two browsers, I have Chrome and Firefox and they are currently connected. And if I add something here, hi guys, then the same thing will go here. And if you enter something here, Hello list. The same will go on the other side and what you can also do is you can delete stuff and what you can also do is if you take a really long thing here you can click on delete here and then um, both browsers refresh and you are um, good to go. Okay let's dive a little bit into the details. So uh, the project is on GitHub. It's called XMPP JSON Patch Sync Model and what you can see here, you can see that uh, the system itself, it's uh, XMPP JSON um, uh, OpenUI 5 model. And the mo model internally um, uses two data structures, an insert set and a remove set. And these data structures, they are CDT compliant. This means uh, they are conflict free when they, mer when they are merging. And this means that uh, this, thing will work offline. So you can uh, disconnect um, the, uh, the one browser. So for example, you can really easily write an offline app uh, for a mobile phone. And in the moment you connect it back to the internet, it will uh, sync with all the other stuff. And um, one thing that can happen if a conflict would happen for the items, then the items would show twice on both devices which is okay. So uh, the solution would be you just delete the item that you don't want. Um, we can now look a little bit into the code. So um, let's go here, uh, files here, and let's check the model. So, so this is the model. I tried to document it quite well. Um, in the beginning, it will connect um, to the server. And then if, if there are, is already stuff, it will download everything and it will uh, show it um, in, the, uh, um, in, in the model. And I'm using Strofa for, for XMPP uh, connections. And, the, and there is also one small thing. Um, I'm using XXHash for the keys for the objects. And this means that there is, uh, what you can do is you can use built-in um, duplicate detection. So this would make it possible if you have two clients and you're entering, entering the same to-do item, so, so um, the same text, then the system would be able to um, recognize this as the same item and won't show it twice. Um, currently, uh, I'm, I'm adding a date. So if you uh, go here and here, and I think, hi. So I'm adding here a date and uh, here a date as well. And this makes it possible to have uh, duplicates of items. So if, if you would um, not write the date into the object, then it wouldn't be possible to, to have uh, duplicate items. And you have to decide this on, on a business perspective. So maybe if you have addresses, it makes sense that you have only an address once. But if you have uh, something like a to-do list, you m might want to be able to, to add things multiple times. So one thing is also if you uh, once added a certain object and you deleted it, you are never ever, um, it's never ever again possible to uh, add it again. So what's also possible, you can reload here and it will automatically um, catch up with the stuff. And what, what we can also do, so, so let's assume we, are, we will just close a Firefox here. So let's close Firefox and you will do say hi to hi three. And now let's open fi Firefox again and paste this here. Then you will see that Firefox will uh, reattach to the current process uh, and will be able to reconnect. Um, so thanks a lot for watching. If you, need, if you need consultancy or support, go to www.incentergy.de. Um, my name was Manuel Blechschmidt and I hope you enjoy this free software. Bye bye.